tonight, we're learning new details about the two shown in these surveillance pictures with guns at the Cinco de Mayo celebration on Cherokee Street. The woman has been let out of jail and police are still searching for the man. The double shooting left two people hurt on Saturday, a man and a woman. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. A day earlier, just blocks away, two other people were killed on the same street. Five on your side's Travis Cummings joins us live with reaction from people who work and live nearby. Travis. Mike and the police department said that this afternoon the St. Louis Circuit Attorney's Office refused all charges against this woman, citing a lack of evidence and saying that the victim involved wanted nothing to do with the investigation. Meanwhile, the people who frequent this block want better. It's a nonprofit art gallery. It's been around for about 15 years. The luminary is all about love and light. And we host residencies, exhibitions, and we now have a pretty awesome social space. Saturday, Kalia Mallory's gallery on Cherokee Street became a backdrop for violence. This surveillance footage from police show a man and a woman pointing their guns amid crowds outside for the Cinco de Mayo celebration. Two people were killed in a separate incident just the night before. It's been really tough because we try to cultivate a space that's actually about transformative justice and community building. So to see it on the background of the news this week has been really hard. Today, the woman pictured is out of jail after the circuit attorney's office refused all charges against her because of lack of evidence and a victim not cooperating. Investigators are still looking for the man. Five on your sign talked to a man who wanted to remain anonymous for safety. He was just steps away from the shooting that left a woman and a man hurt. I guess the guy wanted to talk, wanted to talk to one of the one of the sisters, and the girl wasn't going for it. She just wasn't going for it, and then all of a sudden you heard gunshots. The man says the public blamed him for not stepping in. I just think that, that just the comment behind that was kind of ridiculous. <laughs> that I was supposed to be like a vigilante and step in situation where I'm two and one against a gun. Those who frequent the area say they want better for the city's future. I don't think that um, the current punitive measures ever rehabilitate anybody, and we have to expand our thoughts about what rehabilitation means, because why would we want to continue the cycle and spend money to continue the cycle as opposed to break it? So awareness is really the key, you know, and community needs to communicate. We reached out this afternoon to the St. Louis Circuit Attorney's Office to understand more about why they denied the charges. A spokesperson told us that they couldn't give us any information because this is still an ongoing investigation. They are working with police. If you know anything that can help police solve this crime, you can call Crime Stoppers. That number is 866-371-TIPS. We're live in South City tonight. Travis Cummings 5 on your side.